I am here today at Rogue Valley Humane Society with Jacqueline, and she is going to share a little bit with us about the Humane Society, um, what it's about, and a little bit about adopting a pet because, hey, January is a great month to adopt a pet. Absolutely. So we are a 501c3 nonprofit in Grants Pass, Oregon. Uh, we have a lot of things that we do here in addition to animal adoptions, but that is the what draws people here the most is all of our cute cats and dogs uh, that need forever homes. Uh, if you are interested in adopting a pet from us, we would love to have you come down. We are open Monday through Saturday from 12 to 3 p.m. for viewing of animals. You can see who you might uh, get along with and see who might be best for your family. And our adoption application can be found on our website, roguevalleyhumanesociety.org. So if you're interested in one of our animals, you can fill that out and send it to us as well to get the process started. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about how people can actually help the Maine Society, um, other than obviously adopting a pet. There are so many ways you guys can help us uh, as community members. Uh, we are always accepting new volunteers to help us uh, hang out with our dogs and socialize. There are cats and puppies and kittens that really need <laughs> to be prepared and ready for adoption. Uh, we always take in-kind donations. So if you have uh, physical donations of uh, goods like cat food, dog food, um, cleaning supplies, things that we use a lot of, um, you can donate it to our shelter as well. And we always, of course, take monetary donations. Um, our address here is 429 Northwest Scenic Drive in Grants Pass, Oregon. Or you can send us a check to our PO Box, PO Box 951, Grants Pass, Oregon 97528. And if you, anyone has any questions or wants to know more about our organization and how to get involved, you can visit our website, roguevalleyhumanesociety.org, where you can find more about our programs and our adoptable pets. Wow, that was a lot of really, really good information. Thank you so much, Jack yep. Jacqueline. And we are actually going to take a look at a couple of pets that need to be adopted. Yep, absolutely. We'll show you around. All right. <laughs> so we're here with Loki. Yes. And Caitlin is going to tell us a little bit about Loki. Well, Loki here has been with us for a little while. Uh, I'd like to say about uh, 20 weeks or some odd. Uh, he is a very, very sweet boy. He really loves to snuggle and he definitely wants a home that's nice and calm and people can take him out for walks and just sit with him on the couch and have him be a big old couch potato. Oh, buddy. Awesome. He obviously needs, needs somebody to come love him. And you know, the cool thing about these guys is this shelter, they, they will keep this dog until somebody adopts him. Him? Right? Him, yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, come on down and take a look at him. So I'm here with the cutest little kitten named Mulan, and she is only eight weeks old. And Cody's going to tell us a little bit about her because she's a little special needs kitty. All right. So she came in last week. She was found in a bush with her sister. Um, last week when we were giving her surgery, we found out that she had pectus excavatum, which is essentially a hold in her chest. So we are reaching out to specialists right now to find out if anybody can perform her surgery that's needed. Awesome. So hopefully that happens soon. Yeah. And again, you know, the cool thing about these guys is they're going to take care of her and she's going to be here until somebody adopts her, which, I mean, look at her. She's adorable. That will be soon, <laughs> I'm sure. Thank you. 